Check out this political double take. Two presidential contenders, Rick Perry, Rick Santorum, strapping on the hunting gear in search of unsuspecting pheasants. Governor Perry took aim directly at Second Amendment enthusiasts and outdoorsmen. As long as I've uh, got memory, I had uh, something to go hunting with. So uh, it was a, uh, a, a long love affair with uh, uh, a boy and his gun that turned into a man and his gun. And then it turned into a man and his son and his daughter and their guns. Uh, it's, I think, one of the great American traditions is taking your family uh, hunting. Ah, so Rick Perry and his love affair, uh, courting the gun lobby's considerable influence among Republican voters. Let's bring in NBC News national investigative correspondent Michael Isakoff. Uh, good morning to you, Michael. So, good morning. Was that a signal you think that uh, Rick Perry is going for gun lobby support? Oh, absolutely. That was a piece of touching biography, perhaps, but also very shrewd politics. This could be a sleeper issue in a lot of very key GOP primary states. If there's any constituency in Repub among Republican primary voters that is passionate, that is committed and politically involved, it's the gun lobby. Rick Perry has a longstanding relationship with the gun lobby, support from the NRA. He got over a half a million dollars in support support from the NRA last year. He sent a video greeting to the NRA's annual convention in which he said that, in his view, gun control is, is, is hitting what you're aiming at. And then it showed him firing at the firing range. And why that's so smart? This is, again, one issue that Mitt Romney is vulnerable on. In Massachusetts, he supported an assault weapons ban. That's something that the gun lobby is fiercely opposed to. Uh, he supported the Brady Bill waiting, uh, uh, waiting period for gun buying. So there's, and there's also, remember, uh, the whole issue that came up the last time Romney ran, he ran, he said he was a hunter. Uh, then it turned out uh, when he was pressed on the issue, what did he actually hunt? Uh, the answer was varmints. He got a lot of ridicule for that. So watch this one. It could be a big issue in a lot of Republican primary states. Yeah, that really is it, though. Could hurt him in the, exactly what we were just talking about with David Korn and Jim Van High. Could hurt him in the primaries, but could potentially help him in a general election, a more moderated stance. Yeah, possibly. Although, you know, the, uh, the the battle on these issues has shifted so far towards the gun lobby in recent years. We had that Supreme Court amend, amend, uh, ruling that affirmed that the Second Amendment is an individual right. Um, and uh, look at the Congress. Uh, even when the Democrats controlled Congress uh, a, a few years ago, the Obama administration didn't want to touch the gun issue for fear of endangering those blue dogs. Uh, uh, um, in, uh, in, in rural states. So I think that overall, this is an issue that plays for the gun lobby. It's going to play for Perry. And like I said, watch it. I think it, this could be a sleeper issue. We're not talking about it on the national level right now. But as we get closer to voting day in primary states, we're going to hear a lot more about it. Michael Isikoff, as always. Thanks, Mike.